1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord that I had unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, wrote it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice at the supper, saying, This chalice is the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you are praying the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Nice to see you all this morning. Today's first reading talks about a time for everything. Well, this is our time for prayer. And today's Mass has been offered for our sick. So we pray for all those who are sick who have asked for special prayers. Remember especially Becky Ross who's battling cancer, Anne's husband, Jerry, who has uh, many infections, Ralph Baldwin, uh, the, the Bradleys, uh, and all the people that need special prayers at this time. Let us remember them as we pray the prayer of Jesus to the Father. Let us begin by calling to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the living God come down from heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you invite us to a personal relationship with you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please bow your heads, pray in silence for all our sins. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1 through 11. Let the wise man be wise in his own eyes and a time for everything under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embrace. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. The sponsorial song. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him, the son of man that you take thought of him? Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. Hallelujah. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to the Lord. 
Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? Jesus said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly, be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. I love the first reading because it's all about time. And the one thing for sure, the older you get, the more you realize how precious time is and how quicker it goes by. Like the old man, when he threw the clock out the window, he said, time flies. But he was telling the truth. It really is. Time goes by so quick. And before you know it, it's over. And uh, it's so important to find meaning and purpose in time and that we live in the present, not be by, uh, boggled down or weighed down by the past. And live in the now is so important and to make the most of time and to make good use of our time and to plan, to plan our time. Because if we, if we, if we just drift from day to day, uh, we, we, you know, we don't accomplish anything. It's important that we have goals and that we, that we do our best each day and live each day to the full because we'll never get it back. Today is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. And then the gospel. Who is Jesus Christ? In the early church, there was a lot of debate as to who is Jesus. Is he God? Is he man? Is he fully human, fully divine? Is he equal to God or less than God? And it took a lot of study and a lot of councils and everything to determine who Jesus was. The Council of Nicaea especially, uh, Jesus, true God, true man, fully human, fully divine. You know, uh, the, the Holy Trinity, all that came uh, in the history of the early church fathers, but it came as the result of a lot of debate. We today in 2020 have a lot of theological conclusions, but it took them a lot of grappling with the issues to determine who Jesus Christ is for us. And each of us has to grapple with who Jesus Christ is. Who is Jesus for you? Is he the way, the truth, and the life? Is he the Christ of God? Is he the Messiah? Is he the Son of God? Is he the meaning and purpose of your life? I think uh, the answer is obvious for all of you watching this Mass, for all of you here at church. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he is the, me he is the meaning of our existence. So may we persevere on the journey. Rick Warren wrote a wonderful book, uh, The Purpose of Life, or The Purpose Driven Life. And basically, we have a choice. Either life has meaning, or life doesn't. Either there's a God, or there isn't. And is there meaning in life, or is there nothingness? And of course, we believe the answer is JC, Jesus Christ, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that he is the Son of God, and that we're here on earth to know, love, and serve God, so we can be happy for all eternity. Let us pray. <coughs> Let us pray for all the sick of our parish. We remember uh, Jerry Dennis, and uh, we remember all those who have asked for special prayers. We remember... Um, Becky Ross, for uh, Pat Cuevas, for all those battling cancer, for Ralph Baldwin, for W.J. Bradley and Ruby, for all those who are really finding life burdensome. May the Lord be with them. Leon uh, Cabon, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray for all those who care for the sick. It's such a beautiful ministry, caring for the sick, and especially all the people who bring communion to the home bound. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the people doing research. May they find cures for cancer, Parkinson's, kidney disease, Crohn's disease, coronavirus, and other catastrophic illnesses. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Many people request special prayer, so we lift up all special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the people who are searching, may they find Jesus Christ to be the answer the way, the truth, and the life, and give meaning and purpose to their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for God to keep us safe from all hurricanes, and for God to bless all those who are suffering from the after effects of hurricanes. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we thank God for this day. We pray that we will grow in love this day and live this day to the full through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and O oh God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name, and count our oblation as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant as the source of mer merit may also help us to attain merit's reward to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world, and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your word to us, and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you the truth that sets us free, and the life that fills us with gladness. To your Son you gather men and women, whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of the cross, and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. St. Augustine, born in the year 354, wrote lots of beautiful things about the Trinity and about the Holy Eucharist. One of the things he said about the Eucharist, Christ is both the priest offering himself and himself the victim. He willed that this sacramental sign of the Eucharist should be the daily sacrifice of the church, which since Christ is his body and he is since the church is his body and he is the head, learns to offer herself through him. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when his once for his disciples, so not for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. 
and granted by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit, grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith, alone, whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you and take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to teach you under my roof. But I'm going to say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our aid. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now's the time for you to listen. <laughs> I started LSU in 1954. My dad wanted me to be an engineer. So I went to study engineering. The first year at LSU is called junior division. 
and he studied reading, writing, and arithmetic. <laughs> Second year, my first semester, sophomore year, I took a course called Civil Engineering 101. There were no pocket calculators at the time. <laughs> you had to use a slide rule. Yes. Slide rule's about 13 or 14 inches long, and, and you take and you look at the first uh, factor of your equation, and you put it on the top line, and then you slide the center out to the second factor of your equation, and then you slide the little left hair over, and, and you're supposed to find the answer. <laughs> it took me two or three days to multiply five times five. <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest now. It took me two months to figure out it was the time for me to study something other than engineering. <laughs> I wasn't gonna be an engineer. I, I mean, a slide rule just, and, and, and RA just, we don't see eye to eye. We, we, just, we just don't make it. Okay, step forward, in 1982, my grandson was born. In 1984, his mother and dad were separated and divorced. Dolores bought this kid's first diapers. 1987, he was five years old and it was time for kindergarten. Now, St. Anne School in Metairie has a, a, their school uniform is gray khaki style pants and a white Oxford shirt with the button down and black shoes. Super, super looking. I mean, the uniforms are hard And this kid, five years old, this big, he looked sharp. I mean, but he was scared to death. He was nervous. He was going to big boy school. <laughs> the Lord took him to school and she said she had to push him out the car. I came home from work early that day. I was there when he got home and he walked in and I said, all right, little man, how, was, how you like school? It was good. <laughs> all right. He said, I met Emily. She's got blind hair and she's cute and I like her and she likes me. Look, that's my grandson. Check out the chicks first. I mean, she's a thief. I said, all right, I like this. And he, he said, yeah, it, it's fun. I said, what'd you learn today? He said, I learned the slide rule. <laughs> you could have knocked me over with a feather. <laughs> that was like a punch in the gut. I mean, really, honestly. I was in my second year of college, and I'm not an engineer today, or wasn't then, because of the slide rule. This kid was five years old in his first day of kindergarten, and the teacher was teaching them. I, I figured, okay, they got a little bitty thing, and it's going to be two, and you put another two under it, and you look for the, and it says four. I, that, that's what I figured. I said, all right. Tell me about the slide rule. Because he said, when the teacher's not in the yard, you can't go down the slide. <laughs> <laughs> there is a time to weep and a time to laugh. <laughs> I was very vain about my education, I still am, but, but anyway, all vanity belongs to God. Everything we have, everything we are, is because of God. So we thank God for all that we have, and we thank God for all that we are. Most of all, and, and honestly, guys, this is the way I say the blessing before meals. Most of all, Father, we thank you for each other. A couple of weeks ago, I said, uh, Jesus 
gave us a new command that we love each other. And I said out loud, you have no choice. You've got to love me. I should have kept talking because I had no choice. I got to love you, and I do. Thank you. Very good, RA. And uh, got a cute email here. People keep asking, is coronavirus really that serious? Listen up. Casinos and churches are closed. When heaven and hell agree on the same thing, it's probably pretty serious. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Yes. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks God. God. Let us pray together the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, 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 Holy Spirit. Let us pray, O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, instruct our hearts of faith, grant that by the same Holy Spirit.